Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an error. This is sorry, there is a problem mounting the file. So if you're getting this issue with this ISO file, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So if you're having a problem actually downloading this ISO file, this tutorial is not for you. This is assuming you've already successfully have downloaded the ISO file where you have retrieved it from a removable media device and you might have it on your desktop or somewhere and you're unable to open it or run it or mount it. So we're going to just go into how to hopefully resolve it a few quick ways. So let's jump right into it. First thing I would actually suggest would be to actually copy the ISO file. So just would go ahead and right click on the file itself, left click on copy, and then you go on a blank area of your desktop and then just right click and then paste. However, since this file is so large, I'm not going to copy it here. But you would go ahead, once you're done copying it, you just would right click on the file and then left click on mount and see if that has resolved the problem. Again, you do that for the copied ISO file at that point. Another thing you do is if the ISO file maybe is blocked, we're going to show how to hopefully resolve that too. So if you right click on the ISO file, the original ISO file, so let's say the first method didn't work for you, and we right clicked on it, go down to properties, so left click on properties. Underneath attributes, there might be an area that says security. Uh, this file came from another computer, it might be blocked in order to help protect this computer. If there's currently a checkbox that says unblock and it's checkmarked, you want to uncheck it. So basically you just want to unblock it. That has an empty checkbox. You want to check it to unblock the file. And then you should go ahead and left click on apply and okay. So that's another thing you could try to do. A further thing would be if you're in the properties window, if it says read only, you want to make sure underneath attributes read only is checkmarked. So left click on that. And then we'll want to apply and OK. So once you've done that, you should be able to run the registry file at that point. Hopefully that's resolved the problem. And there are some third-party applications if you're still having issues with that could perhaps resolve the problem. However, I don't really want to get into that with this tutorial. I'd rather just kind of stick with the stuff you don't actually need any additional programs in order to hopefully fix the problem. So I really do believe that one of the methods I share in this video should be able to resolve the problem for a vast majority of you guys. So as always, thank you for watching. I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.